Hello my dear little chaps, welcome to India's first animator live tuition. And in this video, we are going to deal with an important question from the chapter Metals and Non-Metals. And you can expect this question in your exam paper for sure. So if you don't want to miss out this question, watch till the end. So without wasting any time, let's move on to the question. Question time kiddos. Here we go. Let me read out the question for you. Metal X does not react with the cold as well as hot water, but reacts with the steam to form metal oxide and the gas Y. A part, name the metal X followed by write the balanced equation involved and finally how can you test the gas produced that's nothing but gas y right and we already know that the different metals the reactivity of different metals are entirely different some metals are vigorously reacting with the water at room temperature but some of them require a temperature a little temperature we have to heat them then only they can react but we have some metals which will only react with the steam okay and surprisingly we have few more which will not even react with the water like gold and silver so in the question it is clearly given that metal x is only reacting with the steam and we have some metals almost at the middle of the reactivity series as you can see they are nothing but aluminium zinc and iron they will not react with the hot or the cold water but surprisingly, they will react with the steam and they form metal oxide and the gas Y that was nothing but our hydrogen gas. And we can get a better view about this when we have an animation. So, are you ready for that? Yes, here we go. This is the experimental setup that we have. Okay, so here we have a boiling tube or a test tube. Almost at the middle, we have a metal sample and at the end you can see a cotton plug or a woolen plug which is soaked with the water and when we provide the temperature when we heat it the steam will pass over the metal sample they will react and form metal oxide and the gas Y that was nothing but our hydrogen gas and when we pass it through water it will form bubble and how can we detect the presence of this hydrogen gas so that as you can see by bringing the burning mastic and can you hear that popping sound of course so hydrogen gas can be detected by the sound like a pop okay they will produce a popping sound then we can detect that that was a hydrogen gas okay so let's get back to the question okay so can you please move? Yes. All right. So here we go. The metal like aluminum zinc, we already told that they will not react with the hot and the cold water, but surprisingly, they will react with the steam. And the second question was nothing but. So the first question, did we skip the first part? So the X was nothing but aluminum, zinc or iron. That's upon you. You can write any three of them. Okay. So the best chemical equation. Here we go with the first one. Aluminum. This is how aluminum is reacting with the steam. They will form aluminum oxide and hydrogen gas. And the second one, zinc. When zinc reacts with the water, they will form zinc oxide and hydrogen gas. And finally, iron. Iron react with the water to form iron oxide and the hydrogen gas. So this is the balanced chemical equation where the metals which is reacting with the steam. And how can we detect the presence of hydrogen gas over here? Symbol for testing the presence of hydrogen gas, bring a burning candle near the test tube in which the reaction has taken place and if the gas is burning with a pump sound the gas was nothing but the hydrogen this is how we will detect the presence of the hydrogen gas i hope this video or this question was useful for you and if you need more questions like this don't forget to join us thank you so much i'll see you in the next video bye bye